that moment when you start all over again because you basically babbled on for over half an hour about complete bollocks. <laughs> so here we go, we're starting the video again, so hi! Right, I've been at Mum's today, didn't go to the Recycle Centre because I'm broke, because I bought the Master System yesterday, slapped my wrists, but uh, I've wanted one for ages so I sort of just jumped at the opportunity really. Um, the Mountain Ridge mountain bike I fixed up a couple of days ago, I put it on eBay last night, early evening time, and woke up this morning and it had been sold. Someone had hit the bar now for £25, so they put that in my PayPal. Naturally I didn't get the full £25 because PayPal fees and whatnot. Seem to have gone up ever since um, they split from eBay. Uh, but anyway, that's sold. He's coming down to pick it up next Friday the 13th because he's coming down to Chroma anyway. He's coming from Essex. Uh, give me about a week just to make sure it is in top running order. And what the heck is your problem, noisy? He's just sitting in the hallway, just making weird, random meows. Like, that's all he's doing. And he was chasing something on the floor a minute ago. His shadow, probably, because he's good at doing that. Or his tail. Sometimes he'll have one on and he'll just chase his tail. Um, but I've got a bike to put up tomorrow. And I do have another project as well, which I'll show you right now. And yes, I'm being lazy and staying in my chair. Bite me. This is the Viking, the Viking Venezia, Venezia spelt V-E-N-E-Z-I-A. 21 speed, ladies mountain bike. And uh, it's got to be one of the cleanest bikes I've picked up. A bit of rust on the chain, but it's not seized or anything, and I have given it a very good oil. Uh, the only jobs I've had to do it's just very slightly adjust both brakes, adjust the rear gears and tighten the bearings up in that back wheel. The only other thing, it isn't necessary but I am going to do it anyway just for peace of mind, change the tyres and I'll do that tomorrow. That's why after I put the wheels in when I got it out of the car, I didn't put the brakes back together because I'm going to drop them out to change the tyres. Seat's in good condition. There's a little bit of surface rust on the wheel hubs, which I'll clean off with some steel wool. Same with the seat post. But uh, once I've done that tomorrow, this should be up and online for sale, up on Gumtree and eBay. Shush. Noisy. <coughs> he just makes noise, I swear, for the sheer hell of it at times. Anyway, yeah, there's a bit of rust on that front hub I'll clean off. Once all that's done, that'll go up. It shouldn't take me... Well, if it takes me longer than half an hour, then there's something wrong with me. <laughs> Probably should only take about 20 minutes by the time you know, I've dropped the tyres out, the wheel out, let it down, took the tyre off, put the new tyre on, put the tube back in, put the wheel back together, pumped it up, put it back in the frame, Anyway, the other project I brought back was the Peugeot mountain bike Biggles gave me. Uh, I dropped the forks out because if you remember another in the, there, I'll try again. If you remember from another video earlier in the week, I did say the front forks were bent over to one side in the same direction the back wheel was, and I thought it was just the actual fork tubes, but nope. It bent slightly bent the um, steer tube as well, so I'll change the forks. And I've in that silver bike I picked up from my friends the other day. It's got yellow suspension forks in it, um, so I was going to drop those out and put them in here if they are long enough. And I'm actually doubting that now. So this might actually have to be a project that's on the back burner till I get some forks. 
But I've never actually had a Peugeot mountain bike. I've had Peugeot road bikes. Not mountain bikes. And this one looks like it's a special edition one. Because, uh, world champion that's got written on there. Yeah. I'm going to leave the mud guard on and the shop the you know, baggage rack on. I've got the front mud guard with it as well. I've just basically got to build it up. You see, Biggles doesn't like, well, he's not interested in building a bike from scratch like this. He just, it was damaged, so he just saw parts, which is what he's done. He's taken the crank off and sold that. Both Dralia Max he's sold on eBay. The shifters and whatnot have all been sold on eBay. Uh, the cantilever brakes he's sold on eBay, so. But I don't mind, because to me, this gives me a blank canvas to work with. Because I enjoy putting them together as much as I do fixing them. I like ones that are easy to do, like this one. Because it means I get them done quickly and out quickly, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> Which I do need to do, because as that guy paid via PayPal, it's going to take three to five days to transfer that money across, so I'm not bothering. Because by that time it'll be next Thursday, because it's working days. And uh, <laughs> I get paid next Thursday anyway, so really pointless. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, so as I'm not transferring that money across, I decided to do a bit of eBay shopping. And if I just bring up eBay again, because I'm starting the video again, so I've got to do it all again. the original cover sleeve, Gangster Town, cartridge only, yeah go to my eBay, I bought one Master System game, didn't actually realise I bought it, I put a bid in when I was at Mum's and forgot about, totally forgot about it, but I got Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the Master System, yep here it is, Let's bring it up and get a better picture. Yay. Nice, and we've got a little one up there. Yeah, I've got, the ma got that for the Master System. 99p, all in its original case and whatnot. Whoops. And the other one I got was a Mega Drive game, which I bought purely at random, to be honest, just because it was cheap. And this one was two seventy five plus one pound ten for postage, and that was Disney's Tailspin because I used to like that cartoon when I was younger. So thought I'd give the game a go. No case with it, but eh. I'll just keep the cartridges well out of sunlight. I'm um, watching a couple more games. I've got some money burning in PayPal now, though. <laughs> um, want to buy something, but I'm not sure what I want to buy. So I could get another Mega Drive game there. The Super Monaco GP. 2 99 Free postage. Nope. I was wrong, but now our best offer, £2.80 postage. I'm sure there's another one somewhere. Oh yeah, 17 hours left on this one, Gangster Town. No idea, it looks like some sort of shoot em up game. But uh, you know, if you're actually willing to sit there and browse through pages and pages and pages of games, you do actually find one. Oh, I want that one as well. <laughs> Sega Mega Drive Micro Machines Turbo Tournament. Oops. But yeah, some of them go stupidly cheap like that, and then others people are asking insane amounts of money. It's very hard to find something in the middle. Unless I'm just not looking properly. Uh, 
Oh well. I might do a search for the games in a little while. I actually fancy a couple of egg buddies, so I might do a couple of egg buddies. I know I had dinner at Mum's, but I'm still hungry. <laughs> uh, I've got ketchup, haven't I? Yeah. Don't like egg buddies without the ketchup. I'm just watching the time because I don't want this to run on because last time I just got it was boring. Um, got my Pepsi Max Cherry Cola. It's the first time I've seen such a flavour done in the um, versions of cola that have no sugar. And it's very weird because to me, I don't taste it until I stop drinking. So once I, I only taste the cherry basically with the aftertaste. It is quite nice. That hint of cherry is nice. Mm. But Coca Cola only do their cherry coke in their normal cola, they don't do it in diet or well I've never seen it around here in diet or zero besides I'm not a love for a coca cola anyway and actually mum actually said this She's, she drinks the same dark cola I do, the freeway dark cola from Lidl and I know it's only 42 pence a bowl and coca cola is about £1.50 and it's not even a two litre bottle anymore. Um, but I actually find dark cola, Coca Cola, the actual Coca Cola, is just so tasteless to me. I don't taste anything when I drink a Coca Cola, a dark Coca Cola, but when I drink this freeway, there's actually flavour there, which is why I prefer to drink it. Um, to be honest, I've gone off the taste of, um, well, as some people call it, full fat Coca Cola or full sugar, whatever you want to call it, normal Coke. Um, I think I've just become a Pepsi drinker. I don't know. There's nothing wrong with Coca Cola, you know. I'm not saying it's crap, disgusting, vile, or anything like that. It's just my own personal tastes. I prefer Pepsi. <laughs> No, I'm not going to... I know some people would actually slate someone for not liking Coca-Cola or not liking Pepsi, blah, 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 but that's how sad some people can be. Personally, I don't care. <laughs> I've got my preferences and everyone else has got theirs. I've got no idea why I stood up. Absolutely no idea whatsoever. Uh. I am absolutely tired though. I haven't done a lot today apart from finish this off at Mum's. Well, doing the mechanical side of it, tuning up the gears and brakes. Um, but I didn't sleep very well last night. I was uh, waking up repeatedly, like, I don't know, every hour. No particular reason. Then it would take me ages to fall back to sleep. And then by about 9.30, phone rang twice, one of which was Mum. Nemo was meowing because he wanted food. And I could hear, you know, the normal noises outside from, you know, the daily routines of people. So I said assholes to it and got up. Uh, anyway, my job's for tomorrow. Uh, depending on what I'm doing. Because I know it's my brother's 18th. I don't know if he wants me to join them with whatever they plan to do. So I could be at Mum's again. Possibly. I don't know. But my plan is... Get the tyres on this first. That's the first job. Do the tyres. I don't have to, but like I said, for peace of mind, I will. I mean, it's a clean bike. Do I really want these shitty looking tyres on it? Not really. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to solve that problem. 
get that up as soon as possible on Gumtree and eBay. I like to use both. I don't like using Facebook for sale groups because I just find them hard to keep up with. Uh, then, if I do have any time left, I've got those to put on eBay. That to put on eBay. That to try on eBay. It might sell. If it doesn't, then I'll probably just throw it in the bin. I just thought perhaps an aviation collector might like that, that's all. As it's about um, servicing military planes and whatnot. Um, I think that's about it. And that's where my Fujitsu Siemens is. For some reason I thought that was in the cupboard. You know, I want a keyboard for that, but the one I was watching is sold and I can't find any more on eBay, so... I'm a bit pissed off. Uh, if I get time, I'll see if those forks will fit this as well. I'll take a tape measure down. And just measure the um, tube on the frame. Uh, I suppose I should sort that out if I get a chance tomorrow as well. Most of it, I think, is just random electrical bits, so I'll just throw that in the random electrical box under the bed. Alright, I've got some towels there to go in the air and cupboard that Mum gave me. Um, put the JVC up here. Probably won't use this one. This probably will just be my, when, in my museum of old tech that I pick up at random. <laughs> Uh, yeah, only because the batteries don't hold charge on this one. And it doesn't seem to have an AV out port on it either, which I need to be able to connect it to the PC. Though it does say something about an editing cable, but I can't see anywhere to plug said editing cable. Now, I'll probably retire to bed a little earlier tonight. So I don't know if I'm going to sit and use that laptop or if I'm going to have a play with the little Dell. Oh, pardon me. Right. I do actually need to get another bike sort of fixed up and sold, so that seat post may end up back in that silver one. And it may actually, I don't think suspension forks is going to look good in that Peugeot anyway, thinking about it. So I may just bring the silver salco up here i'll swap it with the girls bike so i'll take the girls one down to, to photograph it as well i was actually tempted to throw a set of mud guards on that but perhaps a rear light or something i don't know although it does look okay as it is yes yeah, so the tires are up here so i'll do that part up here the pump is downstairs though so <laughs> But it's just going to be just as easy to swap the tyres up here. So I'll do all that, take it downstairs, pump the tyres up, photograph it. Bring the silver Salco frame up. Find a front wheel. And, uh, yeah, I'll try and get that one done. And up on eBay as well. Anyway, I'm going to cut the video here, I think. 18 minutes, plenty long enough. Not nowhere near as long as before, but long enough. So, uh, well, you know all the spiel now that I say at the end, you know. If you like it, like, hit the like button. If you don't, hit the dislike button. If you've got a comment, feel free to leave a comment. Ask me questions and do what you like. Consult me. Probably heard most of the insults before, so... If someone could, out, out, if a troll out there could insult me with something I've not heard before, I don't want you to know what I'd do. <laughs> Give him an internet cookie or something? <laughs> now, most troll, I don't know why people get pissed off with trolls, because they are just there, you know, to deliberately piss you off. So why not just join in and have fun with them? Anyway. I'm going to disappear. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.